Trying to get strong, man? You trying to get ripped? Ladies and gentlemen, the taper, the peak, the climax. Let, I, let's switch something up. Powerlifting's boring as it is. So let's no longer taper or peak for meats. I think we should climax for meats. I think we should deload for meats. Well, let's deload to climax. That's how you create That's called, what's like that called? Edging. edging. <laughs> I'm trying to edge this meetup. Thanks, Coach Joe. I'm trying to edge. The taper begins. Week one taper. Week two deload. And we're smashing 700 pounds. I don't give a f Welcome to the video, man. Silent Mike. I'm about to squat heavy. Happy New Year. The first, what? how long can you say Happy New Year? A week? Probably 10 days. Yeah. What are we at? Yeah, we're at the ninth. Yeah. I figure about a week. About a week. So now the bullshit's gone. And now we're in the new year. Grind, murder, hustle, kill, wake up at 4 a.m. Let's get a squat. Baby. Uh, I think one of the biggest misconceptions, all you motherfuckers who are doing polar bear ice dives every day, is the difference between trying to recover from something and trying to adapt to something. If you're in the middle of a competition, you're Lance Armstrong, we got 10 days to race a thousand miles, we need to recover overnight so I could be at optimal performance tomorrow. When we're lifting weights, I don't really care about my performance. I do, and I want my performance to trend upwards. But what I really want is I want to adapt to the stimulus I'm giving myself. So over a long period of time, the graph wants to trend upwards, but the day-to-day -day may go up and down. What I'm squatting today doesn't necessarily represent my maximal strength. That's what program is for, peaking and tapering. People talk about like strength sports, right? We're talking about weightlifting, uh, strongman, powerlifting. Those sports, the goal is to find your best strength or perform your best strength, represent your best strength on a singular day and a singular lift, right? So when we're talking about strength, that's what they're talking about. And so tapering, peaking is a way that what we try to do is push ourselves with some volume and intensity, right? Volume being how much work we're doing in a week and a day. And we're going to ramp that up. So technically our performance may go down a little bit because we're fatigued. We're handling a lot of reps, a lot of weight. Um, then what you're looking for is like a super, you know, super compensation. So what we'll do is we'll take away some of that volume, continue to raise the intensity. So we'll recover. Now we will recover. And this is over the span of three to 12 days, depending on the athlete, depending on their experience level, how they taper, how they adapt to things. And you'll take away that volume and then hopefully our upper end of strength continues to go up because now we can represent it better because we're less fatigued, right? So that recovery, all we really want to recover is 10 days. The other 12, 18, 20 weeks of training, we want to adapt. We don't want to recover. You're wasting your fucking time thinking about recovery. We want to eat protein, sleep, and manage our fatigue to adapt, not to recover. So it obviously depends on the lifter, um, their strength levels, their experience, but each lift typically has a range in which we'll handle our heaviest load. Uh, it depends on um, the programming style, your frequency in general, because there's different takes on it. But what I've found to work best for most um, is your last heavy deadlift, anywhere from five to 10 days out, with maybe one more session to clean up 
some skill and coordination along the way. Squats similar, probably five to seven days out for your heaviest um, with maybe one more session in to, to stretch out the body in between. And then bench maybe about five or even a little bit less. Um, I think a misconception with training and fatigue and people are worried about their CNS tiring out or anything tiring out to make them weaker. Again, we're talking about the adapting versus recovering on the taper is that heavier sets with more reps close to failure actually tires you out more than singles. So as long as they're not grinding something crazy out the week of, um, you know, you might handle like an opener um, for all three of the lists ish, you know, 85 to maybe 92%, uh, depending again on your programming within those ranges. And then very little back off volume, very little accessories, maybe a slight pump just to feel good, but you're not really pushing yourself towards failure or really trying to push um, the load and the intensity on those things. So um, for me, it'll be, you know, seven days out, we'll probably handle an opener deadlift. And then the next week leading into that, we'll probably do like a, uh, you know, 400, 500 pounds for some reps. And then we're going to test that 700. So those are like kind of the last main uh, deadlift days. This week we got two. Uh, so we'll handle like 525, 30 for a bunch of reps. Uh, then the opener then the back downs and then test time. So that's pretty similar. I think pretty standard nowadays. A lot of coaches agree on it. Um, it's a balance of staying fit enough to be your strongest while letting that fatigue dissipate to perform your best and mistiming that I don't think will make or break the meat but it can definitely optimize something um, and then mixed in there uh, you know keeping yourself not rusty even squatting they're not squatting for a week if you're used to squatting three or four times your hips and your coordination will feel a little rusty so it's kind of the balance between those things the fatigue the skill the intensity and how to stay strong enough fit enough uh, that we can represent our best strength on game day So that's the plan for this guy, two week plan. We'll keep you guys updated. After that, it shreds life. If you wanna get involved, join the Discord. I think we're gonna run a little contest, a little challenge for free. Um, just get everybody started up, building their routine. They lose a little bit of weight together. So 30 day challenge starts probably mid, um, or beginning of Feb-ish. So join the Discord, click below or 50%facts.com, link there. 3SB.co as always, man. Be a part of something bigger than yourself. We over me, Salamite, I'm out.